you need. We are a nonprofit firm. My name is Alex Dalton, and this is my partner, Dylan Shannenberger, and his lovely service dog, Lyle. And we are graduates of the three-day startup weekend at Shippensburg University. Our problem is financial illiteracy. And our question is, how can we empower students to become financially stable so they can stay in school? Our solution is FINFO, a nonprofit TikTok for finance. This mobile app and website consists of short videos that deliver unbiased financial education. The student generated video content is guided by Pashi faculty and they deliver goal oriented self directed learning paths. Our potential market size that we intend to tap into is around 13 million students. That number comes from 19.9 million students being the total US college enrollment last fall. Only 35% of them have received any financial education in high school. And all of these numbers are coming from the research that is being conducted by Dr. Lennon, my advisor, and myself at California University of PA. Here you can see the mobile app interface from the login screen to the menu, and then over to one of our lesson paths, the rule of 72, which is the time it takes for an investment to double. And you can see here that registration with a valid university email is required. Next, we have the lovely Miss Gwen. She is a non-traditional student at California University of PA. She's from Philly, and she is teaching us about dollar cost averaging. And Gwen is absolutely loving her Carnival Cruise stock as we speak. <laughs> Next, we have the sample goal-oriented self-directed learning path. This person would like to buy a car. So we walk them through the steps of building a good credit, making a budget, and then shopping for a loan with one of the great credit unions that we have sponsored through the FinFo app. Next, we have our web-based discussion platform and communities landscape. This is where students with registered valid university emails can post approved video content and other students and faculty can then engage with them by liking, sharing, upvoting, commenting, and even moving the financial topics to other discussion boards. We're well aware of our competitive landscape, but are also well aware of our competitive advantages. Through the hard research, we have found that custom student generated content caters to the needs and promotes learning for students. Self-directed learning has proven to be more effective specifically when dealing with financial literacy. And FINFO will be accessible to all students, any age, including those with disabilities. And we're all meeting here over Zoom today, and I think it's necessary that we address why. That is why FINFO has a direct response to the COVID-19 outbreak. We believe we will see increased demand and supply of video content on FINFO. Financial literacy is more important than ever to reduce the anxiety and keep students enrolled in the universities that they now have to operate remotely from. Our video creation and consumption will come from Pashi students and then other students who are now fully online. This will promote collaboration between Pashi sister schools, unlike we would have been able to do before. Our revenue model comes from paid university and corporate partnerships but there always is free content for the students. We are a nonprofit organization. FINFO creates a white label app with video content made for and by students under faculty guidance. Partners pay a modest setup and monthly fees for branding and distribution to cover our costs. And additional maintenance fees for any custom content or promotions targeted to college students. Much like Facebook, in the beginning, our FinFo community doesn't hold much value until we generate our users and video content. We will first concentrate on developing this content and distributing it through the Pashi students through the CalU Business 100 course, which typically sits around 150 students in the fall. Once a critical mass is reached, we can realistically expect universities or corporations to pay an industry average of $7 per user per year. Here you can see the sample PSECU branded FINFO login screen, followed by a student wanting to learn how to become financially independent. But before we can teach them about compound interest, they must have a bank account. And that's when we directly refer them to the PSECU website. Mm. Then we can see the benefits for Pashi universities and students through the fact that, that videos increase student engagement, engagement promotes retention, and student retention increases financial stability, not just for the students benefiting from the content, but also the schools that they attend. Our advisory board consists of my network and also my advisor, Dr. Mark Lennon, 
including Dr. Folkenstein from Rowan University and William J. Thomas, the Executive Director of Westmoreland Fayette Workforce Investment Board. As a nonprofit, we want stakeholders, not shareholders. I'm sorry, stakeholders, not stockholders. Our prize money of around $10,000 is earmarked for the majority one-time startup costs that you can see listed below. Our year two projected operating budget at about 600 users, as you can see from the below table, is very sustainable for years to come after. This has been FinFo, the financial info you need, and I'm Alex Dalton, and I'd love to thank you.